What does a circular economy mean? And why does it matter for business strategy and the way we live our lives? Hello and welcome to Well Intel Daily. I'm Annie Hood. This is the podcast that joins the dots on wellbeing perspective and everyday relevance. I've talked quite a few times in previous episodes about the Olio brand. It's the app that makes sharing and reducing waste a piece of cake. It's about ending waste to solve the climate crisis. And I'm personally a huge fan of the founders, Tessa Clark and Sasha Celestial One. They are raising the game in the enablement of the circular economy, saving people money and making it easier and less stigmatised to get food to people who are struggling to afford it. So first, the circular economy, what is it? Well, it's a system based on the reuse and regeneration of materials or products. It means encouraging sharing and a consciousness around consumption. And In a recent article, Tessa talks about the elephant in the climate tech room. Tech is really held up on a pedestal. It's seen as the saviour of the planet and billions of dollars, pounds, any currency you can think of, is being invested in it. In quarter one this year, January to March, for the very first time, investment in climate tech surpass the investment in fintech, in financial technologies. What's wrong with that, you're thinking? That's great. And it is. Except, as Tessa points out, the solution strategy is flawed. This is what it revolves around. Number one, measure the problem. That's through carbon accounting software. Number two, finance the clean energy transition by investing in renewables. Number three, remove the remaining carbon emissions from the air via carbon capture and storage technologies. Now, that strategy is flawed because it doesn't address the root cause, that is overconsumption. The root cause of the problems we're facing around climate is overconsumption. And what I love about what she and others like her are calling out is the no-holes-barred reality check. And the reason for the elephant in the room that she describes is because the issue is such a big one. The answer, in part, is moving from the current economic model, one of extraction and wastefulness, to one that is resourceful and regenerative. In other words, a circular economy. And that sort of shift, that shift to a circular economy matters to lifestyle and business planning because if you are in the business of selling products amidst a culture shift from owning to sharing, that's going to affect you. Most importantly is a huge opportunity for innovation and a front row seat in playing your part and being ahead of that curve. A sharing culture means more human connection. It means less outlay financially and a much more sustainable way of living. Tomorrow, sustainability and wellbeing isn't an either or. The two go hand in glove. I'll tell you why and how. Please follow, subscribe, share and review and of course, be well.